Evening, everybody. Welcome to the program. Well, we live in a high tech world, and the signals that are around us while out of sight might be messing with our minds. While the mobile phone debate surrounding their effect on our health continues to rage, companies are coming up with all sorts of devices and gadgets to combat the ill effects. A phone micro shield promising protection has now arrived in Adelaide, so we put it to the test. Our energy isn't designed to be bombarded with all this electromagnetic radiation every day. If we could see all the electromagnetic fields around us, we'd be quite frightened. We're surrounded, surrounded in signals. I think it's the, the root cause of a lot of, of uh, cancers. 3G, 4G, now 5G is coming to a suburb near you. It is a big health issue and it's only going to get worse. The big telcos will tell you there's nothing to see here. It's a bit like the cigarette companies saying that tobacco wasn't a problem. Electromagnetic radiation is what mobile phones emit. The question is, is it in harmful doses? I've seen enough patients already with sickness from mobile phone use. Adelaide health professionals like naturopath Dr Geoffrey Bryant and Deborah Regari from the House of Healing say it's downright dangerous. Many in the scientific field today are very concerned as well. I had a woman came in here once with a three week old baby in a pram with the mobile phone right next to this baby's head playing at music. But now a tiny wafer thin shield is being touted as a potential protector of our brain. And when we road tested it, the result was jaw dropping. Wow. We'll return to that soon, but Tony Mark Seymour, the man who introduced it to Adelaide from the US, reckons he was initially skeptical. Most of these devices don't work, and in fact, some of them can have a negative effect. The EMF shield uses so-called quantum physics to assist the body to counterbalance these negative signals from phones. But do we really need to be shielded? Well, the only large study into a link between mobile phones and brain cancer was funded by the mobile phone companies. But even that study hinted at a relationship between high usage of mobile phones, right. more than half an hour a day, right. and uh, brain cancer. Neurosurgeon Dr Charlie Teo says his patient records turn up some chilling coincidences, like a man who used his company mobile constantly. He died of brain cancer, all four partners in the company died of brain cancer, and then his wife rang us up two years after he died to say that the secretary, who was also on the mobile phone, died of brain cancer. Telstra pointed us towards the World Health Organization's ruling on the matter. To date, no adverse health effects have been established as being caused by mobile phone use. But delving deeper, WHO has classified radio frequency electromagnetic fields as emitted by mobile phones as possibly carcinogenic to humans based on an increased risk of glioma, a malignant type of brain cancer. So I do know that uh, if you're exposed enough to EMR, you will get brain cancer and you'll die from it. Now the test. I spent 10 minutes with my mobile phone against my ear, had a thermal image snapped, and the result floored me and my crew. Not only hot, but white hot in the ears region. The EMF shield was then attached to the back of the phone, another 10 minutes on it. This time the image snapped was cool. Computer systems engineer Dr Paul Gardner-Steven from Flinders Uni says while it's possible to shield phones from radiation, he's not sure there's a risk. In that regard I would say that the jury I think is still out, at least from what I've read. The more people that are exposed to this technology and these devices the better. And details on the shield are on our website and we contacted the TGA to get their thoughts on the device, their statement is also on our website.